Hi, this is Janelle Shires, Youth and Family Program Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. We offer in-program for kindergarten up, Sundays at 11. If you're not in the area, these videos are for you to use when it works for you and to share the message as you see fit with your family. So this month we are talking about being in alignment and being with our spiritual truth. And what I wanted to talk about today is Ernest Holmes, the man who wrote the Science of Mind book that we use here at the Center. He wrote a very lengthy what we believe statement. And it's pretty overwhelming for the children. So we had two practitioners and Reverend Abigail redo the what we believe statement for the youth and family. And so I will be posting a link down below so that you can read and talk to your family about that. But really, what I wanted to share is that the main premise that we really focus on here at the Center for the Children is that they are one with spirit. And because spirit is within all of us and all of those great qualities, it's all there for the taking. We just need to focus on it, learn more about it, pay attention to it and nurture it. So we have something that is called a teaching symbol, a glyph. And it's a circle with a V in it. And there'll be a link for this also. But it talks about how up in your mind, you can plant a seed. And then that law, which is the creative soil, helps nurture and grow that. And then it's made manifest. So there's many, many activities that we've done over the years here, whether you plant a seed, you put some beans in a bag. But what our children did here at the center is we did a round robin of what did they want to plant? And it was wonderful hearing, especially with the beginning of the school year and the changing of the seasons, what did they want to manifest? What do they want to see more of in their life? And talking about that I am, and what is that I am? So think about it for yourself and talk to your children about what would they like to see more of in their life today, this week, this year, and plant those seeds and every day when you wake up or when you go to bed, work on that in your mind or have a discussion with your children of how that is going for them. So again, here is a picture of our teaching glyph and I will have a link for you to use this. I, um, when my daughter was young, I had it printed out and we kept it on the refrigerator. So it was always planted firmly in our forefront to make sure that we were keeping it in our minds and focusing on what we wanted to see more of. So let me know what you're planting. Leave me a comment down below and make sure you click on subscribe. Thanks.